So some of you might remember in one of my other videos, uh, this is a relatively new product that uh, Fix-It Sticks came out with. It is a complete uh, torque wrench set, has a little T wrench and then a zero to 65 inch pound uh, limiter here. And uh, really a great unit for the money. Uh, I think it's really tough to beat. I think they're a hundred bucks or less depending on when you get them, somewhere around right a hundred bucks. And uh, you know, I've really, I've used it a ton. I love it, uh, but if I can point out uh, kind of my druthers on it, it is not precise, meaning yes, there is a marking for 65 inch pounds, but uh, my callus scope, for instance, needs 18 inch pounds and it's only marked off at 15 and 25. So I have to kind of guess, um, you know, so while great and manual so that I never have to worry about batteries or anything breaking, uh, it does have a couple limitations. So talking to a buddy of mine who, uh, used to do triathlons for years. He told me about this company called uh, Topeak. And uh, they do this thing called the Detorque Wrench. So, uh, Detorque Wrench. And it is this sexy little torque wrench. And it's digital. And you can set it to, uh, there's like nanometers, inch pounds, uh, a couple other settings. And uh, obviously I only care about inch pounds. And that's controlled with this second button here. Uh, the first one is the on button. The nice thing about this unit, auto off. So if I put it away in my bag and I forget to turn it off, uh, the nice thing is I can't turn it off. It just turns off on its own. And then obviously you adjust up or down. Uh, it runs on a single double A or single triple A, I should say, that fits right in the back. And it's just a really clean little unit. Uh, it does come with the uh, kind of a limited set of bits and then I've made a little hole for just my uh, Torx wrench one for my scope rings because I just like having it with me and uh, it just it does the job nicely and I can also uh, here's my half inch for the scope base and it will fit in there and I can still zip it all up which is really nice so uh, really nice presentation uh, it protects it really well and it fits in my shooting bag really great so what does it do well it's a, it's like a, a regular ratchet. It has a, a forward and reverse. And the nice thing is when you're using this in reverse, you're not going to hurt anything by undoing bolts with it. Uh, it's perfectly acceptable and designed to do that, which is something you can't do with, uh, you know, my other unit here or a Wheeler fat wrench or a lot of torque wrenches have trouble going backwards, uh, especially for what we do in the gun industry. And so you know, again, this is from the bike industry, but uh, I think it nicely adapts to our world. So let me move the camera here and I will show you how it works on a set of rings. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn it on. It goes through a little setup. And uh, then we are, it's currently set to 18 inch pounds, which is where I want it. And that's another nice thing about this. It's going to remember the last spot you put it so you may do scope bases a lot, you know, like taking it on and off, you can set it to 50 inch pounds or 65 or whatever it is. It'll remember, uh, I happen to have done scope rings last with this. So it remembers my 18 inch pounds. Uh, either way, it's pretty nice. So I don't need to make any adjustments. If I did, I can go up or down and to cover large ground, you can just hold the button and it just zips through. Um, I can go from 20 to 60 in just a couple seconds. So really nice. And uh, the best part, so I've got my, my Torx bit in here, and I am going to just make sure that these current ring sets are where they need to be. So as I go, so we're at 8, 12, 15. Now listen, you can hear it beep. Now you can over torque. It is not going to break at 18 inch pounds. You could go to 20 or 40 or 60 if you're not paying attention. Uh, but if you listen real nicely, So there's that beep, and then let's do it again. Now, I tend to put my finger over here on top of the center part just to keep it uh, square. And then on the side, there's three little dots here and three little dots here, and that's designed as kind of your push point. So I'm going to set it up again, and while I'm kind of supporting it back here, I'm pushing with my finger here, okay? So there's the beep. And you can see this, I'm not even looking at the top, I'm just listening, and especially in here, this is a really nice way to go, because I'm not straining to look at the screen or to look at what the 
um, you know, what the dial's doing on my other one, uh, you know, or catching it at the right point. I just listen and we are good to go. So it really doesn't get much easier than this. Now I will say I've used this out at the range. Obviously it's harder to hear the beep. So you do have to watch, uh, like if I'm at the, if I'm, you know, getting ready for a match and I just want to make sure these are properly set. I do uh, have to pay attention to the actual numbers. Uh, it's almost impossible to hear the beep if there's shooting going on or a lot of noise, but you know, that's kind of to be expected. Uh, but here in the shop, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I really love the case. Again, super simple, fits anywhere I need it to. Now, Compared to my fix-it sticks, which are about a hundred bucks, uh, these are going to set you back a little bit more. I, I want to say uh, you can get them as low as 180 or 190 on Amazon. Uh, some of your specialty bike shops are going to have them probably a little over 200. Um, so you know, pick your poison there. But uh, this thing is pretty awesome. I uh, I can see getting spoiled with it real quickly. I've used it a few times. Um, I've used my buddies on occasion at matches, and finally pulled the trigger on one myself and I have absolutely no regrets.